Is YouTube playing favoritism? That's the question that a lot of creators ask themselves time from time in situations where certain videos might get to stay up where other videos get taken down. And so we're talking about a situation that I covered a couple days ago where my video that talked about he who must not be named, but you already know because I'm not taking any chances at this point, but it's about the cupcake guy who got my channel a community guideline warning, but we all just consider it a strike at this point because that's how bad it feels. And it was because of a clip that was posted in there, despite that same exact clip being used on other creators channels and nothing happening to them at all. And it looks like this case has been developing even worse than I expected because I'm not the only one. The man himself who originally posted that clip, Jideon, got his video taken down for the same exact reason. So the cover my ass i'm gonna blur pretty much anything that has cupcake man's plastered around here just to keep myself safe but here it is jadion said hey team youtube me and multiple other youtubers have had our videos taken down for unwarranted reasons when all this information is true and i can even provide the case number please re-review my video and everyone else detail in this case now again this is something i brought up a couple days ago and I try reaching out to Team YouTube. I try reaching out to big creators. Of course, I'm too small. Nobody cares about me. I'm a pimple on their ass. And so they probably, <laughs> you probably just, your video is probably just bad anyway. You probably just did something that was way out of pocket. Despite me literally having so much, so many screenshots and really showing the case that like, what is wrong with mine? And why is it other videos get to stay up? Now let's continue. Gideon continues by saying, I know why this video is getting strikes. It's cause I didn't show law enforcement in the eight second teaser clip of us talking to him. And even though cops did, and I have the case number, if you cover the case, don't show the clip, don't want anyone else getting striked. And there's so many things I need to unpack from this, but we'll get to in a second. And so here's another YouTuber that has over 600,000 subscribers that is extremely huge. It says, I just received a community guideline strike for my Cupcake Man's video. They claim it was harassment and cyberbullying when I stated blank, I'm, like I said, I'm covering my ass, but you can read it yourself. What is Team YouTube? Why are you shielding them? And, I, and that's what everybody's wondering. But there's even bigger questions. This is something that has been discussed for a very long time on this platform. You might have remembered Corey Kenshin from last year. So this is a video that Corey posted last year talking about favoritism and racism at YouTube because he countered a situation where only his video for a gameplay that he was playing Mortuary Assistant got age restricted, but no other YouTubers did. And then when he pointed out that Markiplier's video was uh, not age restricted, his clip was going fine. They were like, oh, our bad. We didn't mean to sit there and age restrict your video whoopsie daisies even though they doubled down originally and denied his appeal now going from there you're wondering why 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 is it that i point out this youtuber but then uh, you know now it's magically fine how is that going on it makes no sense and that's where people start to wonder what's the favoritism is it because markiplier's white is that the reason why they let it stay up so he's more trustworthy and look i'm not here trying to project anything i'm just here opening up the discussion and trying to explain from Corey's position um and, and to, honestly i kind of view it the same way at times how is this possible why is it that when you point out someone else's video that all of a sudden oh whoopsie daisies we were wrong you know what let's get yours back up now even though we originally told you twice that it was wrong and the worst problem the biggest problem that i have and that i think so many creators have that or especially in my position especially as small small creators is that when you point out a flaw a legitimate flaw to the team at youtube their policy their their guidelines team they look at you and they say denied we don't care when I pointed out the Cupcake Man clip and then I showed timestamps and I put this whole paragraph and I described it all, they just said, no, denied. They don't give me a thorough explanation. They don't give me a thorough reason. They don't say any of that. And that's what blows my mind. And so later on, Rev, one of the YouTubers that I was talking about, they apparently got a response from YouTube that was detailing what their issue was with, this, uh, with the Cupcake Man's video. It said, Hi Rev, thanks for your patience while our team looked into this. After further review of the content, our team has confirmed that the strike on the uh, video will be upheld in line for our policy. Specifically, the video includes content that depicts a stage meetup that is used to accuse a identifiable individual of egregious misconduct with a blank without the presence of law enforcement at this timestamp. I understand this outcome, blah, 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 the same YouTube jargon. But my question then on top of this, why can't you send this information to me and everybody else? Why do you just double down and not give anybody any information? This is useful. Why can't I have this? Why do I have to play mental gymnastics and, and wonder and just look at random policies and look at, well, my video didn't do this, it didn't do this, it didn't do this. Uh, these videos are still up. So how is it that I'm clearly violating a policy, but these videos that got a million views are clearly not, even though it's the same exact clip. 
That makes no sense. Make it make sense. And for those that are curious, here's the email that YouTube gave me themselves after I asked for a follow up. And please reappeal the video. And like I'm telling y'all, it's right. And this is what they said Hi there. I hope this email finds you safe and well. As promised, this is a follow up email with regard to your issue about your appeal for the channel warning. I know that you know that there are other YouTubers that are using the same video clip that you used, and yet their videos had not been taken down. Let me shed some light on this. Spoiler alert, they don't. They said, I understand that receiving a community's guideline warning on September 5th may have been concerning for you, and it's important for you to have a clear understanding of the situation. I want to assure you that I emphasize what your situation and am here to shed some light on the matter. I want to inform you that the enforcement action on your content has already gone through an appeal process on YouTube Studio, and a human reviewer has reevaluated your content. After careful consideration, it was determined that your content does violate community guidelines. While we understand that this may be disappointing, blah, 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 same YouTube jargon. Now I ask you, what light did you just shed on there? All you told me was that the policy team is not going to reverse their decision. You did not shed any light on me on why other YouTubers get to keep their videos up with that clip, but not me. There was no actual information provided to me because even this, it furthers makes the problem even more apparent. And so here you see two of the biggest problems and it's not even the creator's fault. This is uh, like, I wanna make this extremely clear because I don't want anyone to get this twisted, even the creators themselves. If somehow they even saw my video, I'm not trying to throw shade or even point light at them and say that this is their fault and that you know what, they should be ashamed. No, this is not what I'm saying. The point is though, YouTube is playing favorites because 5.9 million views. And he got the same goddamn clip in his video. Now, I just want to include a quick update because while I was uploading this video, uh, some ordinary gamers, Mudahart, he deleted his video. And so I don't want someone to sit there and be like, oh, YouTube got him too. They took his video down. I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's going to make his own video in a couple minutes talking about it. And then he's going to go over the entire situation. But I just want to point out that no, YouTube did not take his video down. He just took it down himself, probably as a preventive measure to make sure he doesn't actually get a, a guideline warning or strike on his channel. Just wanted to include that in there. And the same shit here, 700,000 views. And he got the same exact clip as well too. So YouTube, how can you sit there and take that, especially the original person who even uploaded this clip to begin with, how do you give him a community guideline strike, but then you don't give it to other creators? especially ones that have already gotten to 5.9 million views. That's 5.9 million people that have seen it. You tell me you haven't seen that video? You tell me somehow that, that magically doesn't violate it despite having that same exact clip? Make it make sense. And if you're wondering why I'm upset, you're wondering why I'm fuming, it's because this shouldn't happen. This is unfair. This is completely unfair. Imagine if it just happened to me. I'm one of the only people that it happened to, and you maybe had like one big creator it happened to. Most people are going to blow it off and say, ah, oh, well, it's not a big deal. Who cares, right? It's like these people still got it up. So it don't matter how many uh, evidence you post. You know, that's really what it comes down to. And that's what it feels like whenever you bring up issues like this, especially as a small creator, you just get brushed aside despite having a legitimate case. And no one really cares to help you out or even speak out against it because they don't give a fuck. They, as long as it doesn't affect them, it doesn't matter. And on top of that, I would have never known that this was the issue if a big YouTuber didn't have it happen to them. Why is it that only a big YouTuber can get this information and understand what the exact reason what was wrong with their clip why can't i get that same information is it because i only got 4.5 uh, thousand subscribers is that it like why you're just withholding information if that was information you're willing to give to a big youtuber for the same exact reason as other youtubers then why can't you give that information to me and i guarantee a lot of small creators share the same sentiment all i want and i think every youtuber shares the same sentiment is just for this to go away just remove the policy guideline uh violation strike or if you're going to give it to a couple people you give it to everybody do not play favoritism. Do not select only certain creators that can have theirs up, but then other ones get it taken down. That's not fair. That's not right. But one of the biggest things that I fear as a small creator is this going to be a situation where let's say the big creators get their shit resolved and they get it removed because they have context, they have partner managers, all that good shit. And then for me, if I try and resell, they'll be like, nope. Nah, you, you still violated it. Sorry, we're not reversing that decision. These people couldn't even give me an actual explanation on what was wrong with the clip. And so if they can't even do that, I don't have faith in them to actually do right by my channel and remove that guideline strike uh, warning. If they do it for the big channels, I don't envision a future where they're gonna do it for small channels. Anyways, I just wanna make this video because I know the last time I talked about this, I wasn't really, uh, I was upset. I was pissed and rightfully so, I'm still mad because this is just a silly situation that should have never happened to begin with. And it's just wild that it's gotten this far. And now with this happening to other big creators, 
creators i want to give an update so that more people are aware of the situation and maybe i don't know at youtube let them know on twitter tell older creators about the situation that's happening especially for other smaller creators let them know that this hey this is messed up this is screwed up this shouldn't be happening to us and hopefully put pressure on youtube to either do the right thing and give a community guideline to everybody or do the other right thing which is in my opinion i think a lot of creators believe is to remove that community guideline strike no creator should have it it doesn't make any sense for this situation in hand because this is still being done with the police this is for the reason that they gave uh, that i showed at the beginning of this video if that is what their reasoning was for taking it down for so many channels then they're wrong because it was done with police involved so yeah i don't know hopefully this shit gets resolved uh, if you made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment below what you think have a great day yeah